Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Sink. Welcome to the OSRS podcast. Here with me, I have Rice Cup and Rikesy. Unfortunately, we don't have Mint Mad Cow because he's kind of a uh, little busy. He had to go save some cats and dogs from the homeless shelters. You know, it's yeah. typical Mint, but you know, it's all good. Yeah, and, man. Uh, you know, Scott yeah. stream as always. 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 Uh, but yeah, anyways, anyways, Mr. Sink here. You know, it's prolific. Um, Solo Raider, you know, Ohm Hunter completed that finally, so you guys can stop asking. But yeah, it's, you know, just professional PVMer. Professional PVMer in RuneScape. Professional. So you might have heard of his solo race guy on YouTube, you know? And yeah, yeah. So yeah, how's it going, Mr. Sink? How are you feeling uh, today? For, I'm, uh, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling good. You know, I feel clean, showered. Uh, I spent the day at a uh, baby shower yesterday with my family uh, pretty much all day. And when I'm with family, you know, we, we drink. So I'm not hungover, but I, I am a bit tired. You know, I had like three or four hours of sleep. But, uh, you know, we're, we're ready and ready <laughs> to go, you know. Yeah, just You're think of it as a new update, man. you know. Hey, thank you. You know, I just had to wear something nice, you know. I'm going to be in front of some people, so. So, yo, Sink, I, uh, I was just thinking. I've just finished my stream, so I was thinking downstairs. We were in the same clan. I, in fact, I think we yes, still are, right? Actually. Divine PVM. Did we ever uh, do actually, anything? Actually, I just left. Yes. Ah. So, ba actually, that is a very good topic. You guys would not believe this. So, basically, I remember joining Divine PVM, and uh, I remember this whole thing about, oh, Rikesy's in the clan. I'm like, who's Rikesy? And I was like, oh, I watched some, some of his videos or whatever. And uh, we actually went on raids uh, towards release with, uh, I think it was Reign of Pain or something like that. Yes, and, uh, some yes, other yes, and, yes. And, and a name with an L, I forget. It's l l something. Oh. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I know. I know exactly. You're I talking. I can't remember about. it. Anyway, it was yeah. Max, and at the time, I was I was like a noob. I had like base nineties or whatever. Was and, it Larton? Uh, was it like Larton? Yeah, yeah, Larton, 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 yeah. Larton. Yes, Larton. And I, I, I was like the noob of the clan. I was like, I was like a recruit or whatever. And uh, I remember I was doing raids, and we got our first Evo, and it was in Larton's name. I still have the screenshot. And that was like the first big PVM split I've ever gotten, and Wait. I remember it to this day. Yeah, and you were, we were in a call and everything. Oh shit, dude! <laughs> yes, it, yes, it's on oh. your YouTube channel to this day. It is Man, still on your YouTube. I channel. I got such a fucking bad memory, dude, but was I, like, dude, I was, Rachel, I was like certain we ago. did something together. But yeah, those guys, I haven't heard from them in ages, man. Like, yeah, they do, just don't do play. You, I saw them at it probably, but yeah, yeah, they just don't play. Oh, dude, those those were the good times. God damn, I thought I recognized. Oh yeah. Like, I remember when you started to like blow up on Twitch, and uh, mm -hmm. I was like, "Dude, I I know this name." I was like, "I know this," name. <laughs> but I I'm so bad with names, bro. I was like, I couldn't figure out exactly who it was, and it's it mm -hmm. all come together now. I totally got. Wait, why did you leave the best PVM clan in the game, though, bro? Come on. Well, I recently left because uh, Hardwell TV was coming out, and you didn't I have the requirements Dudash. for it, or. They kicked uh, you no, you no, have the no, gear no, 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 dude, no. Literally, <laughs> literally, I was never hounded at my gear check because I was always streaming. But uh, no, Dudash, no, no, no. who was who was the leader of Oblivion, was like asking me to join because of hard mode and future updates and stuff. And I thought it made sense because with yeah. solo raids, I, I I can just solo raid. I don't need anybody else, right? But with hard mode, I'm gonna need people, you know. I don't need many reliable people. I can't just press the live button and be like, oh, can I go with you and you? You, I, I don't know who these people are, you know. But yeah. if I can join a clan like Oblivion, then I can actually rely on other people. Which, to be fair, has been going really well uh, as of late. But I recently just joined Oblivion. So, what are yeah, the that's kind of why like? I left. Because I, I know Oblivion, what, Oblivion for anyone that... Yeah, because I know Oblivion's like the endgame PVM clan, right? So, I'm assuming the requirements to get in is pretty much like maxed and maxed gear? It's pretty... It's literally maxed. Uh, it's literally maxed. Uh, not only that, like, you can't just own everything. You have to go through a trial review. Basically, if people like you, if you're good at the things you do, um, how, how often you're playing, and they board review you. So they actually watch your gameplay live. You know, they'll, they, they can tell if you're actually decent at the game or if you're a 416er from Theater of Blood. You know what I mean? And obviously, <laughs> they're not going to accept you. You know what I mean? Exactly. So they will watch exactly how you do things. So even if I get a slow time at solo raids, if they know that I'm doing everything properly and it's just RNG, then they know I'm doing everything right. So, Damn. yeah. Basically, they will not let you in if they think anything bad of you. Like, any, any like but not like bad, like, uh, emotion or socially, but bad, like, as a player. Because if they can tell that something's off or you're not, like, ready to be put with everyone else, they're not going to accept you in. And... yeah. 
they put you in through two trialist reviews, I believe. So they, they, they watch you two times. But if you do well on your first one, they don't require a second one. Which, apparently, I did well for my first one, so I didn't need a second one. Um, so yeah, they've been you stream yeah. enough times, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, they've been, they've been watching me stream, like, hard mode this entire time. And uh, yeah. apparently, it's hard to get it's hard to pass the trialist. I don't know, because I've, I've only applied once. So, yeah, that's why I left Divine PVM. Okay. I see. Is it still Classics that runs Oblivion? Is he still the leader for that? Uh, game? yeah, it's Classics and Doodash. Uh, I don't, I don't know, but you know, it's Jumanji maybe. Doodash. Um, Wait, I don't it, really know all the names. Wasn't Doodash? Yes, in it's the PBM same Doodash. Well? Yes, yeah, it's the same it Doodash. Yep. Okay, so I'm assuming, like, in terms of like the spectrum of like the most elite PVM clans, like Oblivion's <clears throat> up there, right? If not the most elite. They're probably like yeah. the the sweatiest. <laughs> they're probably like yeah, the, they're the, probably the highest. Yeah. The ones that uh, require the most things and require the most skill and stuff um, to even be accepted. So, yeah. Yeah. And it's the yeah, same dude. They're, like so. they're all like scientists nowadays, bro, in that clan, dude. Oh, know dude. Everybody. Down dude. to like the ticks and shiz. Do, do you think that they would accept a uh, 15th Infernal Cape to come into the game kind of guy? Or what are they looking for here? Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. You did that. I forgot about that, dude. That's I, I, that's, I, I, my, I that's my name. That's like my my claim to fame right there. That's my Your proudest claim RuneScape to fame, moment. Number fifteen. Number fifteen. Oh I was yeah. Going, I was going for number one. I'm not gonna lie, but unlike <laughs> Wooks, I actually have to sleep. You know, it is what it is. Dude. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Wooks is just oh, a robot. Right, right, to be honest, right. man, yeah, is a robot. Because it was sleep. That was the. That was that's, the difference. That's what it was, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now, Wooks, it was asleep. dude, I spoke to Wooks uh, about that at RuneFest, actually, and I was like, I, I was yeah. just like, I was just like, it, it, it felt like I was talking to a fucking alien, but not in a bad way, but like in a way like, it's like, your brain uh, was, like, his brain was like learning stuff, whereas my brain, I was just brute forcing. That's all I did. Like, I, I, I learned how to pray flick while doing the Inferno. This man was doing Really? Like, yeah, I didn't even know how to pray flick before I went in there. And I got the 15th cape. I, I genuinely could yeah. not prayer flick for longer than like five <laughs> seconds before I went in. And I came out a fucking oh, beast, dude. Geez. I went uh, through you that say war, Rixy, man. Rixy's kind of talented, though, for being able to do that. Just pure No, force. yeah. I remember being a little too afraid when it came out. I just did not know what I was doing. I did not try to force it, nothing. Mm -mm. It was fun. At the time, yeah, I wasn't really doing good. anything. I was not good at the game. Yeah. I mean, I mean it, it was... It was cool. It was just... It, the hardest part about it was um, <clears throat> Twitch chat. Because I remember streaming it, and like, god, the backseaters, bro. The amount of comments I got that was like, why are you even trying? If Wooks and Boaty haven't done it, you stand no chance. And I was like, oh, yeah, these dude, guys. Yeah. I, dude, I stopped streaming for the rest of the week and just did like 16 hours a day of it. That's all I did was Inferno Jeez. for that entire week. I, I absolutely like no life there. But it was worth it. It was worth it. Yeah, I mean, it was good that you got it as early as you did, to be honest. It took me a couple months after to uh, get the Infernal Cape. I was still a fire same. caper for a while. Same, same, same. It was a struggle, man. I was like, yeah, let me try to get Tebow first. And then I just never got it. So I was like, okay, I don't know. I, don't, I just got to do this before <laughs> before school starts again. Like, I, there's no there way I'm doing it. it. Yeah, I was like, nah. Okay, so uh, we should talk about some of the more, uh, I guess, modern, you know, modern RuneScape things. Not Not too many... RuneScape stuff has happened as of late that's been like relevant PVM, but you know, we, we've had uh, Hard Mode Theater Blood, which uh, Rixie flaked on, but it's okay, you know, we have two people here have done a good amount. I'm sorry, dude. That we can talk about it, and we can talk about some of the, uh, you know, the, the range um, rebalancing stuff, because they are trying to go ahead with some plans with the blowpipe now, and also maybe we get a new range weapon. Um, right oh, after that. Heim or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's all like lore tied in and stuff too. So it's like checks all the boxes. But yeah, I guess we can talk about hard mode uh, theater of blood. You know, have, wait, actually, have you done some already or no? I haven't touched it, man. I, I oh, okay, okay, I, really. I haven't touched it. Honestly, mm -hmm. I I don't see any GP incentive there. If I'm totally yeah, honest, huh? so I'm just like <laughs> lots I, of losing GP. I, I'll do it at some point, but like if I'm not gonna make money from it, like more than I would normal TOB. Like, that's very uh, much my mindset at this point in time. I'm going for GP. I'm not going for, like, achievements. I want to do it, but I probably won't touch it unless I'm just bored. Or, like, at the end of my series or something like that. True. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, okay, so, so for Sync, then, uh, what's the overall feeling for it, you know? Like, do you um, find the difficulty uh, up there for you, or... 
you know, I the mean, rewards up there for you, I guess? It's definitely not as difficult as <laughs> Inferno on release, for example. But yeah. I think it's all right where it is, minus like Zarpus. Uh, yeah, Zarpus. The, the thing is, like, Zarpus. it's already previous existing content. You know, you can exactly. only change it so much for hard mode. Right, you right, know, right. like, exactly. if you compare hard mode Theater Blood and Challenge World Chambers of Zarek, hard mode Theater Blood has definitely had a lot more improvements and uh, work put into it than Chambers of Zarek. So in that sense, it's definitely way better than uh, Challenge Mode in the yeah, way that it was has uh, developed. New mecha- it actually has new mechanics. It actually has new mechanics, <laughs> which is kind of hard to imagine. Like, like I can't imagine new mechanics in Raids One. I just, I just, I just can't. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, unless so I really down. thought about it. Yeah. So, but uh, a hard mode is. I, I think it's in a good place, uh, considering like it's not content that you're only supposed to complete once or twice or you know ten yeah. times. Because when you think about it, Infernal Cape, some people go in there, get it one time, and they're done. Maybe they'll do it a few times for status, but that's it. But hard mode, you have to consistently be able to complete it over and over for the dust that's, and all the kits the and stuff. That's the hard so part. that's why it shouldn't be like ridiculously hard. Because if it's ridiculously hard, then that wouldn't really make sense because it's supposed to be repeatable content that's relatively difficult. So in the sense of its difficulty, I think it's in a good place right now. Um, obviously, things could have been changed like Zarpus, but I think it's in a good place. Mm. I was slightly disappointed that it was uh, completed within the first 30 minutes. Um, <laughs> oh, I was thinking yeah, in the first, like, team. two hours. Yeah, your team got it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, for those that didn't know, yeah, my team actually did get world first. Uh, that was really interesting to me because... Did you guys just, like, kind of brute force it? Pretty uh, much? Mm, not really brute force it because we, we just did it. Uh World yeah. first was interesting to me because it's like I've always wanted to get world first for something <laughs> like that, yeah. um, especially something that's like relatively difficult. I mean, it's not easy like a oh, world first to complete a quest. You know, what I mean, that's not a big deal, right? Uh, but to get that world first, I had to make sure that I was going with the the absolute right people. Um, I was gonna ask people like Wooks, uh, Cold One, Kriskies, Adicon, Exact, but they were actually all already in teams, and I was getting a kind of word because these are the people that I wanted to go with. And then I asked Mulgoat Kirby, who is, I'm sure you guys yeah. know, is a yeah, very, yeah. very talented PVMer. He got world first Inferno on leagues, which is incredible. Like, this man is an absolute machine. And, and I love him to death. Like, dude's a cool guy. So I went with him, and he invited two other, like, really, really good solo TOBers that are, like, actual machines. So I've solo TOB like seven times, but I'm no machine like them, you know? I'm not as good as they are at solo TOB. So to be able to go into a team with them that understands all the mechanics and know how to like, you know, ticky and how to deal with everything at Verzik and not die, that was really important in getting world first and also communication. So I wouldn't call myself the team leader. I was calling out a lot of the mechanics and so was my team. So for us to all communicate that and understand each other and figure out how to do things was really important in getting world first. And I was very glad that I quite literally chose the perfect team to get that. And, you know, you know yeah, it, it was yeah. pretty cool, you know. That's sick. And it was cool to stream sure. it all. Were, were you guys on? Were you guys using like a voice at the time? Were you guys on Discord or? Yeah, we were all on Discord at the time. Yeah, you want to be on Discord in general, man. That shit is so much harder without it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, it, it, was, it was it was definitely a lot better. Did you did you stream it? I apologize, I didn't see it if you did. Was it streams? Yeah, I, I streamed it. I streamed it. The only thing is, like, I have my desktop audio muted because of music and stuff. So you can't hear my, you know, teammates. But yeah, we did we did stream it. Okay. Uh, also, guys, I was uh, I think I was told by one of Ree's mod. Is there an increased chance of getting a purple from a hard mode, or is it the exact yes. same as normal? It's increased. Apparently, it doesn't feel yeah. that way, but it's increased. Oh, for me, it does. Because okay. man, I've gone. I've seen so many purples. I, in the I week. will say though, uh, in my team, I've, I haven't gotten really anything in my name except leg guards. But we've gotten one sang or sorry, two sayings. One rapier, uh, one legs, two avernix, and two sights so far no, in my, yeah, in my yeah. like 105 kill count. <clears throat> yeah, um, it's pretty good. I've, I've made some decent money, you know, I've made some decent money. That's good. Yeah, what I about mean, the non uh purples? Uh, uh, I've gotten one, uh, two kits, two sanguine kits, uh, but oh, I really okay. am looking for the dust as, as a completionist. Yeah, I need, I need the dust and I need three holy kits, and then I'm all set. Yeah, from my uh, oh, man. I feel so clueless now because I, I I don't even know what like what's the incentive for doing it on hard mode. I don't I don't even cosmetics. know what you get. 
Like, no, I, I, stuff, I heard man. they were going to do, like, a Justicar kit where they change it into something else. And then that didn't mm -hmm. pass for some reason, which is a shame. So I'm guessing you've got, what is it, like a Sang, a Scythe, and a Rapier change? And also Scythe the, has uh, two of them. Yes, exactly. Scythe so has two. So basically, okay. Scythe has two kits now. It's the Blood Kit, or this is the Sangui Kit, and the Holy Kit, which looks like a Sara Scythe. And yeah. then the Rapier and the Sang also have a Sarah version. So you have a, an Owl version of the Sang, of the Sanguinesi staff, and then you have just a different colored version of the Rapier. You also have the Metamorphic Dust, which or not Metamorphic Dust, Sanguine Dust, that changes your Verzik pet into all of the Raids bosses inside of uh, Theater of Blood. And you also have the increased chances of loot. So, yeah, I, I'd say it's pretty worth doing, especially if you can do it consistently, and they claim that the drop rates are increased. Then, yeah, it is better to do regular Theater of Blood. Okay. Because it's, you can't know, confirm, you have more can't stuff, confirm. I've gotten, know? like, I think I've gotten, like, four purples in, like, 70 uh, hard modes. So, yeah. <laughs> For me, at least. I've seen a lot, though. Other people have gotten a bunch. Yeah. Two kits. Three kits. So far, yeah. I've seen. You should definitely do some, Rexy. Definitely do some. Dude, I love that, man. Yeah, Zami sure. style Justy would be Inquisitor. <laughs> That's it's, so it's, true. It's, it's Inquisitor. <laughs> no, it literally is. Just, just this year. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Inquisitor is literally just Stitcher stolen and just like formed to be Zemorakian. That is literally what Inquisitor yeah. is. What were the they lore. planning to do then? Because they did pitch it, right? What What was it they pitched for the Justicar kit? They just pitched Gilded. that it was going to come as a kit. Yeah, I just it was a different Gilded version. No, it's, yeah, it's a different version. It's the it's the uh, it's the old version. So there were two different versions of Justicia that were going to pass. And oh, uh, yeah, yeah, then yeah. I had to vote it on which one is most popular. So the one we currently have a game was the most popular. However, they pitched that, oh, it should make the second yeah. kit also popular. And people were like, no, no one was just this year. Like, yeah, the other one. On weapons, you know what yeah, I mean? The other one's like spikier, you know? It's like, it's got more like shit sticking out. <laughs> I guess. Should we take questions from the chat too, right? Or no? I'll probably mean, do it after our, uh, we could probably do yeah. it after our RuneScape stuff. Why don't we? Yeah, okay. because we can save that for like a segment at the end of the stream. We can take some. Uh, yeah, they could leave some, some uh, you know, questions in the chat, you know, so then we can prep, it, I guess, later on. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay, so, uh, so we, let yeah. Yo, yeah, Sync, go I ahead. got a question for you, man. As somebody who mainly does like end game PVM, I mean, you spent an ungodly amount of time killing uh, challenge mode raids, trying to get a pet and so forth. Um, how did you feel? when this TOB rework came out with the easy mode and also with the hard mode. Like, in terms of new content and PVM content and bosses and raids and so forth coming into the game, how did you feel when the TOB hard mode was that PVM release for us this year? Like, do you have um, any strong feelings against that? Are you kind of disappointed or are you looking forward to the future? I wouldn't say I was really disappointed. I was happy something came out of it. Uh, easy mode... I don't think was the move. I don't yeah. really like easy mode at all. I literally just don't like it at all. Um, but for hard mode, like, I was I was pretty impressed. Like, can like because because I I did so many challenge mode solo raids that in my mind I'm like I really hope they don't just rev up the stats, do a few different mechanics, and call it a day. They added quite a few different mechanics into the theater of blood, and I'm not I'm not trying to do that to brown nose them or anything. I'm I'm, I'm saying this because I actually was pretty like impressed with how much could have changed with already existing content um so i wouldn't say i was disappointed i was pretty happy with how hard mode turned out but yeah i, I was pretty upset that nothing else would come out like maybe another boss like nightmare era of ashihama that's not as long because nightmare of ashihama takes like 20 minutes as a solo or a raid story which we're probably not going to get until 2022 if that i i can't even say that because i don't work at jagex so uh they better, i wouldn't though. say they i wouldn't say i'm happy i'm more content um with the update but i am yeah. looking forward to get everything else because we do have mm. some talented jmods on the team you have zuko we have uh husky arcane uh alex uh elena like in curse uh, i already said curse I think um Pip, uh, Pippi, uh you know yeah there, there's so many talented jmods now or they're actually like Pippi. really good they have infernal capes or max and stuff that actually know about the game uh that know how to reach out to the community and see what is challenging and ask for their opinions on stuff so when it comes to Raids 3, I am really hoping that it is challenging. I am hoping that it doesn't take the first day. I'm hoping it takes three days for the first completion of Raids 3. I, I, I kind of <laughs> wish... I, I hope they uh, ramp up three the days. punishment, though. I hope they ramp up the punishment a bit. Yeah. How so? Uh, like, in the sense that, like, if you die, you're just like, oh, no, I lost my like, day, you know, like, you know what I mean? 
Like, I'm hoping that it's a bit more gruesome so that, like, you can't just be like, wait, I, I can't bring back Skier the whole time or else, like, I risk something, you know, or something significant, right? Like, that would be the play. Or, like, if you do bring it, you might end up losing, like, several mil, you know? If you guys team wipe or something, you know? That would be, like, I think, I think, I think a really, that's, like, a super easy way to just make things hard, right? It's just, like, a natural way, like, when you, when there's, like, actual punishments involved, not just, like, little, 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 little bits K. of, like, uh, you know, like a little, little slap on the wrist, like, yeah, you, you know, you try again, you, you messed up, <clears throat> try again. You know what I mean? It's got to be something a bit more. Yeah, I totally get that. A bit more so, harsh. yo, Sync, to go Because we're missing that, I think, in the game. To go back Especially to what you level. answered about so. easy mode TOB, I'm curious. What is it about easy mode TOB that you dislike? Because I, I've heard Ree's uh, perspective on it, and I was just curious if yours is different from his. I was the same, to be honest. I dislike it because not not only is it literally not similar to, to TOB at all. Like, it seems like it's it's so toned down that you can't really learn too much from it except, like, get a small sneak peek, which you can already do on YouTube and Twitch and stuff. So I think that's really dumb. Uh, the fact that you can solo it doesn't make any sense because... <laughs> the theater of blood is not meant to be solo you know it's soloable but it's not meant to be solo so why yeah. make story mode soloable if the whole point of doing story mode is to learn theater of blood with a team it doesn't really make any sense to me at all yeah, at all I, I think their main reason for that is is probably because like they want to turn into a quest which is to be honest i don't think it's necessary to be honest like i don't know why they even added it as a quest that didn't have to be a quest Wait, no, are you are you saying not. they've added it as a quest, or they're going to add it? Yes, as a quest? it is a quest. It's That's a quest, why. but oh, if really? you've already completed, if you've already yeah. completed TOB, it's it's auto completed. Oh, so you have it done, basically. Yeah, yeah. All right, no, that's fair enough. I I totally agree with you on that. I think um, I I was a bit confused when Reed didn't like it before it came out, and then when it came right. out, and people in my chat were like, they were like, you just, it's so easy. They were like, people in my chat that have never done PVM, and they said they did it on their first time. Like you tank hits and stuff like that. To me, it kind of sounded like kind of pointless. It's like if it's supposed to prepare you for TOB, but you can literally make as many mistakes as you want and not be punished. Like it kind of just it does sound a little bit pointless. To be fair, so yeah, I get that. Yeah, I wasn't really a fan of it to be honest. Uh, and 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 how I see it is, if content is difficult, you you should just learn to do it as it is. You shouldn't get an easy way out to learn it. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's yeah. like that's like that's like going on a private that's server and like trying to learn from there. You know? Yeah. It, well, dude, I doesn't make any sense. From like Jagex's point of view, like I totally get it because it's like here's the thing, right? I I, I think a statistic came out a while back that there was only like twenty thousand players or something that had completed TOB, which in the grand scheme of things mm -hmm. isn't that much. <clears throat> and it's like, so we can't really, well, I'm talking from their perspective, like we can't do very many updates right now because of whatever reason. It's like, so we already have existing content that's really good that people will enjoy. So from that perspective of like, we can dumb it down and make it so it's new, but kind of recycled content. It's kind of like an update in itself. But yeah, I totally agree. And uh, I, I think you're right about Raids, Raids Free coming out in 2022. That's probably about right. So... The next question, where do you want it to be? What do you think it's going to be? And what kind of boss? What encounters? I like the obvious answer is the desert. I feel yeah. like that's a pretty obvious answer. Um, I don't really know how to just imagine new bosses off the start because I'm no dev. I, I have no imagination. Yo. Trust me, you cannot ask me to imagine anything. <laughs> desert, <laughs> pyramid, raiding themed. So you got exactly. you know, mummies, you got scarabs. You got like mm -hmm. I don't know, freaking ghost and shit, pharaohs and shit. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like tomb raiding. Like imagine know? a massive mummy yeah, as like the final yeah. boss or something. A massive mummy carrying a pharaoh scepter or some shit. You yeah, know what I mean? And sick. like it's it's special attack is like, like moving guardian, around yeah. its fucking arms and has like the whatever the tape or whatever. Yeah, flipping around please, at you and stuff. Please you know? prefer some Yu-Gi-Oh in there too. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Exodia, I'm fighting man. Exodia. Fighting Exodia as the <laughs> final boss. Great, all right. Yeah. That'd be that would be cool. So, dude, yeah, like a monster we, that looks like it. We were yeah. having some conversations a while back about raids free, and as an end game PVMer who's recently joins probably the most elite PVM clan out there, we were discussing a boss where the raiding experience is something which is, I'd say, comparable to like World of Warcraft. And what I mean by that is, if you do a raid in WoW, I'm not familiar. Have you played WoW before, by the way, Sync? No. Okay. No. Nope. But. 
effectively in in world of warcraft if you do a raid like you have certain people with a specific role so it's like you have a tank yeah. you have healers you have dps that kind of thing so yeah i i was playing around with the idea of having an encounter with a boss which is so like punishing that being in a discord or a call with your boys and timing when somebody's going to heal or who's going to tank would be absolutely necessary so my idea behind it was say you've got a boss which attacks at quite a rapid pace and it's like but it will only focus one person and if that person doesn't get heal othered which is effectively what we have as a healing class in runescape on lunars yeah that person's gonna die and then the whole team's gonna wipe so in terms of like um in terms of like the kind of uh god what's the word the tactics that the teams have to use in order to defeat the bosses would you say mm. that's too far for old school runescape in terms of difficulty or do you think something no. like that where you need really clear communication would actually be really good for pvm no i i don't think that's too much to ask for i think i think things like that is good because it uh promotes good right. teamwork and it promotes yeah. good gameplay and it punishes you for not executing that good gameplay so I think we need more of that. I'm I'm tired of people thinking DPS is the most important thing in the world because yeah. it's like that that's actually how it is in old school RuneScape where where I feel like it would be cool to have different classes like, you know, tank and healer and stuff and having different roles dealing with different things, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um and everyone gets rewarded in a different way, you know what I mean? Yeah, so dude. I, I I think it's I think it's good. I think it'd be I really think nice. Variety is good. To actually have, yeah, like, a right. tank use in, like, RuneScape would be huge, right? So, just the thought process there was, like, somebody has to take, like, say, a Bulwark and full Justy to even survive that oh. hit. And then, you know, you got to time the perfect hills with however many healers you have, how many attacks the boss does or something like that. Basically trying to make it, like you said, so, you know, the best offense isn't always... Ha sorry, the best defense is always having a better offense. Having something which yes. is more tactical where you have to actually communicate with your boys and sure it's gonna be hard but then like you said i think something like that would definitely reward players who are actually working together well and can yeah, they communicate just, with each other yeah so so i i think it's good to have diversity and you know the different styles of pvm right like as right now obviously this game is like uh very heavily solo orientated yeah and obviously you know making something that requires a lot of people to do it i think there's there's, you know, there's, like, two ways to do it, right? You can, like, kind of force people to do a boss where, like, literally the only the only reason why you need 10 people is it's because that's just the design of it is that they force 10 people. So they need to make sure that if they do something that requires 10 people, they have to design the boss in a way that it naturally feels like you need people, right? You get what I'm yeah. saying? Like, because, like, there's content sometimes where... You know, for Chambers, right? Like when it first came out, it, it's, it felt like, oh yeah, you, you know, you needed uh, X amount of people. But then later on, it just came down to the fact that like, oh, found better ways to do it. Now we can just solo it, right? Like, yeah. they need to make content that like when they design it from the beginning, even, even if it comes down five months later, it still feels like you need absolutely that amount of people, you know, right? Or else it's going to kind of be like pointless. It'll just go back to the drawing board of, oh, okay, we found better technique, just solo it, you know? Mm. yeah right so I mean, so hopefully they yeah. can actually design something that feels like you have to you have to bring that many people Does i think they sense? can do it i think yeah. if there's a lot of uh, new j mods yeah. that have a lot of hands-on pvm experience i think that's definitely like a step in the right direction especially oh, yeah. Yeah. if that's mm -hmm. what we're looking for but like the the thing is like i know it's easy now to look back at tob and to look back at cms and cox raids and be like oh it's kind of easy but that's because we learned it right like at the time yeah I, i'll speak for myself because I, I don't know what sync was like but at the time when cox first came out bro i remember we spent like an hour trying to kill bloody vasa and we were just like fuck this boss we can't figure it out let's dip let's get into a new one so yeah uh, kamikaze vasa yeah, yeah that was fun I, I remember watching videos on release for raids i was watching framed and i, I remember I remember it was like a mini guide because it was like a first day thing, and it was like, oh, if you get burned by Ohm and you and it says burn with me, you have to go to somebody else that also says I will burn with nah. you. you get rid of it. And I was like, <laughs> so <funny>. why? <laughs> I, bro, I promise you that video is still up. I mean, I can't yeah. blame him because it was first day, but yeah, yo, it's very, very, very crafty. <laughs> he yo, was telling people, Kevin under the bus, dude. <laughs> I was dying. <laughs>
Holy shit, yeah. dude! Oh I need God. to find well, that. Was hilarious. Somebody so in my chat trying to find the that. The video's oh still God. up. The video's still up, dude. <laughs> so I was, it was hilarious. I loved it. <laughs> that, that's why you don't make day one guides, unless it's Bro, a quest. Maybe you should think you had to yeah. like attack tech on from the back and everything. Yeah, and, so funny. Uh, it, was, it was so good. It was so yeah, good. But I, like I said, faster. I can't blame him because it's it's the first day. You know, I can't blame him. Right, first day, is so funny, dude. You all just get one shot. You're like, wait, wait, what? Uh, we all just die like in one hit like it doesn't make sense and then we just all quit the game yeah, like literally fast at the end of the raid two hours to get there and then we just all died in one shot and we're like all right we're done and we just leave you know like ouch. yeah so sad yeah it was tough when i still was. think that uh i still think solo raids like uh, uh, although somewhat I think, unintentional i think solo I, raids were, was revolutionary though you i know? think yeah solo raids is revolutionary i think mm -hmm. that the impact that it had on the mm -hmm. gameplay has has risen the skill ceiling of the player base by so much because i would be an absolute shit player if i did not know how to solo raid being able to read ticks and pathing and 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 gear switching and everything around that solo raids uh, has taught me so much and it's yeah. ridiculous True. like if anyone wants to get good at the, good at this game and really take it seriously learning solo raids is like the number one thing you could do after first learning like zolra and vorkath and god wars and stuff like it's such an important part of this game it's ridiculous yeah and also, like, I For feel sure. like once you get to that sort of ceiling with skill, it's like, it kind of trickles down into other things, right? It's like, you know, it's like you go to Armored or God Wars, and you'll probably end up pray flicking, like, the entire fight and stuff like that. So you just kind of get better across the board. I remember the very moment I decided to do a solo, uh, a solo raid was when I saw Perp do a solo raid. And I was like, if mm. this guy can do it, I can fucking do it. I was like, I, I was like, he can't be doing it, and I can. I was like, I gotta do it now. And it was fun. It took me ages to get used to the head phase and like the ticks. Uh, I still mm -hmm. struggle with setting up melee, like to this day. I, I watch your guide really? every time I go and do it. I watch your guide, <laughs> and then I get because I already know it. I just forgot it, so I end up watching mm. a few seconds of your guide. I'm like, I fucking know yeah. this. Switch it off, and I'm like, let's do it. And then I'm just like, screw it. I'll brute force it. And I just brute force yeah. it like every single time. It's not. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. the gear only... has gone so strong now that you could kind of. Yeah, you, you can. Know. Like, I mean, you there's get very. The lance, few... bro. If I brute force killing, uh, doing the melee hand, it's so rare that firstly I mess it up on all three. So it's usually I just mess it up on like one or two. And I always have food left. So it's rare for me to die, but then if I do die, I get super tilted because I'm like, God, I should have watched this. Bro, guy. the days, the days this. of Hosta. Dude, the days of Hosta whip only ohms, bro. Those were the shit. Yeah, I missed that. Those I, were, I truly missed that. Those were all hardest. Those were hard. <laughs> those uh, were really hard. Sometimes I think, like, could you imagine if if one of us just like went back in time and just soloed raids at the start and just streamed it? How know, how, right? how mind blowing the community would be dude, like? Like, dude, bro, Wooks, what is this yo, guy doing? Dude, what is, what, Wooks, what is this switching? <laughs> bro, even Wooks be sweating, dude. If he saw that, it's like, bro. <laughs> Dude, like, it's oh crazy. my god, just it's imagine crazy. just going in and being in a no prep solo or something. Like, people be like, Bro, what by yourself? Who is this guy, what the heck, <laughs> dude? Wasn't it oh the first, god. wasn't it the, the first solo oh. that Wooks did? He got a Tebow, or was that one of the first? Uh, not the first, yeah, he, he was, he was the first person to solo a Tebow, though. Yeah. But did he, not, was it, not was one it of the a solo. no death raid, or like, did he die a few times? Probably, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was probably yeah. no oh, death, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was not one of the first few solos, it was like him soloing before anyone else and i'm pretty sure it actually was the first solo yeah, yeah he or was first, even first solo yeah, item, he to was, be honest. Jesus. i was following very intently because you know on an iron man it was a struggle to want to do it with teammates because i couldn't i couldn't do stuff with them properly with like potions so i was like oh, very yeah. keen to like you know follow and listen to see what other people are doing and i remember wooks was like he was on stream trying to figure out he was like he was noticing some patterns you know with the head turning and i was like oh Shit, what is what is he gonna come up with? And of course, you know, next week he's like, "Oh, I actually found a way to solo raids without dying." And it's like, what the heck? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I gotta know what's up with this. And mm -hmm. I and I kept following. And you know, he made a guy. I was like, oh my god, this is this is it, treasure trove. This baby. is it. This is yeah. It. This is it. Like it's time I, to get some drops. You know? I love that meme of Wooks where it's like what an actual <laughs> player <laughs> sees, and it's like a picture of the game, and then it's like what Wooks sees, <laughs> and it's just the Matrix. <laughs> He's he's something, dude. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, really I didn't is, even dude. finish my story, man. Yeah, so I went out to him at Runefest, and he's a really nice guy. But when I said he, he was like an alien, I just said to him, I was like, man, I was like, I was following you getting the fucking infernal cape. You got the first one. I was like, congrats, man. I was like, I managed to get the fifteenth, 
But I said to him, I was like, I couldn't tell I you. I, I said to myself, I couldn't tell you uh, what I did to improve. Like, I literally, even now, I can't tell you what I did to improve, but I just got better. Like, it's, it's, it's a weird thing. And I was like, I was trying to have this conversation with him where I was like, I'm assuming for you, like, every time you died, it was like you knew there was something. What was that? Was that a cat? Was that Wooks crawling oh under dog. your bed, dude? What was that, man? <laughs> that what was the fuck dog. was that? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Is that a dog? That's my dog, That's yeah. a weird-ass looking dog, man. What the fuck? Yeah. That looks like a cat. <laughs> dude, she is. She is the best. Come here. Come on. It's like a chihuahua mix. You sure it's not a dog? Like a <laughs> you sure it's not a cat, I'll mate? Dog. It's a cat dog, dude. Fusion. On, she doesn't want to come. Come on. Uh, dude, that looks this, so... This is my dog. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's a good dog. dog, is it? Yeah, it's like it's a, a Pomeranian. It's like a chew Pomeranian. It's like a Chihuahua. Yeah, it's a Pomeranian, yeah. Oh, it's, dope. it's like a little bo or like a wolf dog thing. You know, it's like a it's just chilling. Like, to it's be a, honest, I kind of forgot dog. she was here. Yeah, she's a mm. cat dog. I forgot she was chilling here, to be honest. Yeah, I, that, that conversation <laughs> I had with Wooks, I was just, I was just yeah. like... I, I just said to him, I was like, I don't know what I did to get better. I was like, but I clearly improved because as soon as I got the Infernal Cape, I was like, was that luck? Yeah, you broke I, some barriers, dog. You broke some dude, plateaus, dog. I, I was really doubting myself. I was like, did I just luck my cape or did I actually get better? So I went back in again and then I got a second one, like one attempt later. And I was like, okay, so I definitely improved, but I could not tell you what it was. Uh -huh. I literally couldn't tell you. Yeah, yeah. You just, you're like a go with the flow, you know? You're not, you're not about the analytical, you know, type of shit. You just kind of like I, flow into I it. Would, yeah. I would say I'm more of like a reactionary player. And I, I think... If I had yeah. to put it down to something, that would be it. Like, when you see where the minions spawn, and you're next to whichever pillar, like, having that quick reaction of, like, okay, I'm gonna stand here to be able to pull this one here. And this was before, yeah. you knew, like, you knew with, the, like, the fancy tricks of, like, if the mage and ranger are stacked behind each other. Yeah, you can one take it. Yeah. yeah, like, this was before all of that. So I just got good at, like, setting them up, and that was basically it. I think it was just, like, reactions became faster for me. And uh, yeah. you had Tebow, which helped a lot. <laughs> Hell you know? yeah, and uh, Ellie as well. But I did it, dude. I did it with ancestral uh, before they used like full justy and all that crap. Man, that's a coward's way to get a cape. On coward's you. way. Oh it's yeah, uh, you could probably turn up the video right here. Frame the frames video about the burning. You put, uh, maybe you've been. Uh, I don't know. I've seen yeah, it. I, a, yeah. I can yeah. play the audio, but I yeah. don't know if you guys will be able to hear. One sec. Let me have a look. Ah, uh, nah, nah. It's nah, okay. probably it's not. It's probably gonna get a little too hard to do that. Because it's going to mess... Uh, does it, what did watch, it mess it up? I can watch the stream, yeah. Yeah, okay. It also has messed it up, uh, yeah. One sec. Yeah, it, it does mess it up a bit, that's why it's... We'll, okay. we'll leave it, we'll leave it. I can play it, like, at the end of the podcast or something like that, but... <laughs> yeah, so... Uh -oh. So, more about the, the Wook stuff, or... Should we, uh... We're, do we're done with Wooks, man. We got Sync yeah, on, dude. He's a way bigger yeah, legend, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wooks is interesting, you know? Like, I talked to him one time, too, and, and you know, he was... He like yeah, obviously he's like a shy person, right? He lets people talk yeah, to him Yeah, he lets people first. talk. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But he does answer though. He does answer questions. He just like waits for people to like, you know, ask the question. But I haven't okay, been anyways. able to meet him yet, like at all. I wanted to yeah. meet him at the last room fest, but he uh, wasn't able to go. Oh, unfortunately. Mhm. Mm all right, so um, let's see. What's next? Should we talk about the solo top stuff? Like you know, you said oh, you, you had a, you had an opinion on that. You know, like, right? Crisky so... solo and yeah what you know some interesting in its current state hard, hard mode solo tob at, at first was like it was pretty much impossible it was yeah. only possible when someone figured out that you could just blood barrage a stack of blood spawns in the back and even then that's a 20 minute maiden to solo tob so Jesus. it was really impressive that uh chris has got it first uh, and it had like help from resk and i think a cold one so that was really cool but right now, like, I've sold TB seven times, and even then, uh, right now, hard mode solo TB just does not look fun. Like, Maiden yeah. looks like a massive pain in the ass, and yeah. I honestly just don't want to do it. I mean, maybe someday, but right now, it just seems like too much of a pain in the ass to even want to yeah. do it. Like, I, yeah. I want to play this game for fun. I don't want to hate myself doing hard mode solo top, you know? Yeah, when, yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. But like, yeah, but I guess I guess I was assuming you had something to say about like the whole glitching thing, you know, with like the, the uh, the blood spawns. 
Oh, uh, uh, but then again, you kind of have to glitch P2 Versic anyways, so it's like yeah, it's like a fair game, I suppose. But yeah, it, yeah, yeah, that's right. It, it takes like 15 minutes to do the Versic and stuff. Yeah, so I guess in in that sense, you're right. Just right now, it just it just doesn't look fun in yeah. my opinion. So uh, yeah, for maybe, sure. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know, cause like you can get some you know new gear that could change the entire like outlook of certain things. So. So yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, okay, I guess we can talk about the balancing stuff. You know, the new bow. What do you guys? Do you what? You know much about the new bow, Rexy, that they're trying to propose? I was actually. Or should I give a quick? You, should I give a quick yeah. kind of like overview of what they're trying? Yeah, you, to I was gonna save it for the podcast. Here, right? You can uh, you give me a quick uh, brief overview of it. Yeah, basically, yo, bullpipe's gonna get nerfed, right? It's gonna happen, and their current model for for the nerf is going to be. Uh, ham like hammer down on the accuracy, like take a ton of it off, so that the idea is after the update, if the blowpipe fights things that have very low defense, it'll kind of be the same as what we have now. Mm -hmm. But things that have mid to high defense, it's gonna suffer a lot to the point that the DPS difference will be pretty massive. And so to kind of like compensate, they're gonna release a new bow that will fill in that kind of like DPS. Uh, DPS mix between high mid defense. to high level, yeah, mid to high level right. defense. <clears throat> uh, do yeah. they have they said how they're gonna release that bow? And yes. like, yeah, you can go if you know about it. Uh, yeah. All I know is that it's just coming from the gauntlet, which I don't agree with. Mm -hmm. I don't like that the gauntlet was already out for a while, which people don't really like gauntlet that much. I mean, it's cool, but it could have been better. Like people are like, oh, this could have been so much better as dungeoneering or something like that. And engineering. I've not played yeah. Dungeoneering at all, but I can understand people's frustration that the Gauntlet's good, but it could have been a, so much better. But the fact that this the, the Gauntlet has been out for, like, what, two years now? Uh, people have already done and finished that grind and done the Blade of Soldier and everything, but now that they're adding they ha they're adding a bow to it without any, without any changes to the content itself, like, it doesn't make sense to me. And I feel like the bow itself should come from absolutely something else, like, completely different. Yeah, the Gauntlet Dude, has so... the Blade of Seldor, just... Put the bow it, somewhere it, else. Just if I may, else. a suggestion yeah. I could make for that, which I agree with, uh, because it's just easy money. I'm literally farming the gauntlet right now because I predict that seed's probably going to go up like 50 mil or so. But like, if something they could do, like one of my very first, uh, one of my very first like observations with the gauntlet, and I did dungeoneering as well, is I personally love the gauntlet. I think it's fucking great, but I think it's great because of the potential it has. Okay. What I would love to see is for them to create like a whole new layout. So you got the corrupted, the regular gauntlet, and then you have another one where it's a different boss. It's got different demi bosses and it's just a completely different dungeon, but like in the same kind of layout, if that makes sense. Like, however, this okay. is Jagex we're talking about, right? And consi considering we haven't had any PVM updates this year, aside from hard TOB, which is basically just like, you know, a couple changes to the current TOB we have. Although I can't say too much because I haven't done it, admittedly. It's like, if they were just to create a whole new encounter, a whole new different boss with a new set of mechanics, do you think that would be better for that? Honestly, I think that's not a bad idea. Considering yeah, I was impressed with how hard mode TOB came out, if they made like a different corrupted gauntlet with a different boss with different mechanics, like, I, I think keeping everything the same but having a different boss at the end might actually work for a different bow. So you have the regular one for Blade of Zelda, and then you have this one for the bow of Fair to Nine. So, yeah. So I actually think that makes sense, because like I said, I was pretty impressed with how, how hard mode TOB came out. Like, with already with something already existing and making it better, this, that might actually be a good idea. To be yeah, honest. I mean, to be fair, right? Like, you're only going to get consistent hard mode runs if you have, like, an ultra sweaty team, you know? Because, like, I've been taking, like, viewers that have KC and stuff, but, like, mm. even then... It's super hard because every time we switch our member, we probably gonna have to wipe at least once to get like the synergy going. So, so really, it really, it really is that hard. You know, it's it's only if you're doing it with like some of the best players consistently that it's like actually, you know, somewhat consistent, right? Mm. Fair. And it's yeah, yeah it's it, content that already exists for the most part. You've done it a billion times. Yeah. It still requires that much upkeep. I mean, but I'd be. You guys want to hear? But yeah, but do you want to hear something about like kind of like the logistics, right? Like about the the the, the nerf and the bow because do you want to hear about that? Like my uh, I guess yeah, go my, for uh, it. Observation, yeah, on. go for it. Go for it, man. So like obviously this year they they don't have the capacity to make fully new stuff, right? So 
they've already admitted that, you know, when they when they talked about the hard mode stuff, they already said that uh, lack of resources, lack of time. So the best we can do right now is to make something that is off of existing content, right? So with that in mind, it, it means that shit, if they release a new weapon, they can't really do it from a completely new content piece because they don't have the time for it, right? So the best they can probably do is what you guys were talking about is probably, you know, you say use the same framework of existing content and, and spin it up a bit, right? Yeah, they could do change, that, change, change but, the mechanics, but I think you know I, mean? I think what they're trying, what they were thinking about proposing is that they could just, uh, just make a new item called like the enhanced crystal C weapon C. R three has that, and the idea is you can like turn it into a blade or or a bow, right? So so that could alleviate the people that complain about having to redo the content. But I I still prefer like a new content overall. Because I think even if it's slightly remodeled new content, I still take it. You know, it's better than nothing. Mm. And and also coupled with the fact that like the blowpipe nerf <clears throat> has to happen soon, right? Because <clears throat> they already talked about it three months ago. And they already, you know what I mean? So like it has to happen this year, right? But obviously yeah. if it happens this year, that means they also need to rush something as a compromise this year too. And we already know they can't make complete new content. So that's 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 the problem, right? In a, in a perfect world, the blowpipe nerf would have happened years ago, and then they would have had all this time about creating actual new content, completely new from scratch, you know, new new entire concept maybe for like the boat, but like because of all these, you know, just bad like timing, I guess, bad logistics you know, from from shit that happened so long ago. It's like it makes it really hard. They gotta rush it. They gotta, well, they gotta why, make some compromises. You know, why do you think they have to rush it though? Why? Why couldn't they just nerf the blowpipe and then leave it until they have the content ready well, to no, go? Well, because then people are very pissed because then they have no weapon anymore to help them do some of the current content, right? Because let's With be honest, high, high defense of, monsters, yes. Yeah. Because let's be correct. honest, right? A, a lot, a lot of current content is definitely bounced around the blowpipe because it's yes. so easy to access and shit. So if you if there's nothing there anymore, then you just have a blowpipe that's only good for low defense, but you have nothing between that and the Tebow for like all these mid level sh or high level. So, the issue is yeah. that the blowpipe is good for low defense and some mid to high level defense bosses. Yeah, exactly. So the point of the bow of Vernonheim is now you have a weaker blowpipe that was for lower defense monsters, and then you have the bow for high defense monsters. So if they only release the blowpipe as is and you know fix it, whatever, then the bow isn't released yet. Then you have this area where it, it yeah, there's exactly. no gap, there's no gap to fill. Yeah, or you I, can't I, fill it basically. I, I, I get, the issue. I get that. But could you give me like an example of a specific piece of content where that would be a huge issue, like where it'd just like be Rage impossible one, unless you had a team? Probably Rage but, One, like Vasa, for example, Vasa Nisterio. Like, but don't you that have, boss is actually really annoying. You have the Dragon Hunter. Well, I guess that's not very good for well, Vasa. It's terrible, dude. Crossbow's terrible on Vasa. I, like, yeah, <laughs> I guess like, you're like, right, for example, actually. it's terrible. Vasa's Challenge a good example. Vasa, Challenge with Bossa is also really good Dude, because it, solo, the blowpipe is hard. yeah, solo blowpipe on Challenge with Bossa is very annoying. Like you have to, yeah, you have to not lose bro. any DPS and last hit with a crossbow. Bro, even if you yeah. don't lose any DPS, you can even if you don't lose DPS, it's still pretty fucking time, bad. Bro. Yes, it's so, stupid. so if you release, if you fix the blowpipe and there's no bow fair now, you are not doing solo Bossa basically without without a Tebow. Is so there anything that's, else? That's one thing. Like least. aside from Bossa, like is there anything else that comes to mind for that? Bass is Bandos a really good is a example. Good one. Yeah, but the, but the thing with Bandos, Bandos, Bandos is a good one. The thing with Bandos is though, it's like there are alternatives to killing Bandos, right? So it's like sure you yeah. can't blow pipe it anymore, mm -hmm. but it's not the end of the world because you can still kill it. Whereas Vass is a really good one because it's like if you haven't got a Tebow or a blowpipe with Dragon Dart, yeah. It's I mean screwed. honestly, yeah, yeah. There, there's I, quite a bit of bosses though that dude, are a bit level high. That I I kind of feel like, like if they were to delay yeah. it and not rush bringing out this next weapon tier to fill that slot, there would probably be people that would be upset, sure, because they can't do solo CMs with their blowpipe anymore. But like that, that's probably all I can think of right now. Because everything else has like an alternative to kill, right? It's like, would you rather have rushed content or just have a few unhappy raiders that can't do solo CMs for a while until that content comes out? I would rather wait for the content. Yeah, to I mean, I, I'm fix. biased too. I'm biased in the fact that I could probably get away without the blowpipe. But but the but the real truth is that the blowpipe is so universally used that if you take away its half of its uses then you're you're gonna have this huge vacuum of a lot of people just kind of like lost in how they want to 
approach the PVM. Then they we kind of forgot the obvious answer, Inferno. Yeah, so. That's that should be an obvious answer. Yeah, yeah, Inferno's that's definitely a very obvious answer because if you don't have a Tebow, you're using Blowpipe for literally the all of the, all of the waves. You use it on the yeah. major, the ranger. You literally uh, you'll use it on anything. Something. Yeah, yeah. And that yeah. bow Fernheim would be good on I think the major, yeah, pretty much and Jad. Everything. Yeah, major and Jad. Yeah, it'd be good so, on Zuck too, to be honest. <laughs> that's right. Would, yes, this yeah, is true. Yeah, it'd be good on Zuck too. True. Yes. That's but, so, like the thing is, is that. Yeah. Yeah. So imagine like. Imagine you fix the bullpipe, and then for months, people just literally can't do it because they, they want to wait for the bow of Ferdinand, you know? People will wait. People will wait for the bow. Yeah. And it just doesn't make any sense, you know? So, yeah. I, I get that. Yeah, yeah, I get, yeah. You know, that's, that's a fair a lot point. Of people. Yeah, yeah I, I, was just, I was just trying to think of a way around, like, just rushing out that seed being a part of the, uh, the Blade of Saldor, but it makes a lot of sense. But, like, at the same time, these people that are complaining about, you know, not being able to use their blowpipes... I hope that they're ready to get their quest quest helper on because I mean they're gonna have to go and do the uh, the Sota quest. They're gonna have to figure out like, like the only way that the crystal bow is like comparable as far as what I've read to the uh, the blowpipe is if they have the full set of armor, right? So not like, even well, not even close right now. But no. after they because the because like the new bow is basically like the higher version of the crystal bow. Yeah. Yeah. And it will match, and then it will like somewhat match the current blowpipe. But you need to have the full armor set, yeah. so you're gonna have to do yeah. the Perfinus quest and all of that stuff. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. to be fair, they are putting a lot That's of boundaries like in the that. way of getting that. I like. Yeah. That no. Fact. I like. I like the fact that it's actually restricted because blowpipe. It's like, oh, I have three mil. Let's buy it. You know, like, what do you mean? You know, that's it. Like, wow. Dude, you know? what about so, if so they easy. like? Even if they were to do something like, obviously, we know at the moment it's supposed to be one seed that makes the blade of Saldor, and it can be turned back into being turned into the bow. What if they were to make it, how do you feel if they made it into a separate seed? So, like, a specific seed <sighs> just for the bow? Or do you think Ooh. that just causes more issues? Well, I think for the average player, it would cause more. But, for, like, obviously for us, it'd probably be like, oh, new content, yay, you know? But, like, for a lot of players, they're like, oh, I don't want to do Gauntlet again. I can't be asked to go back, you know, or something like that. <laughs> so, yeah. I but mean, I, I'll I, be there I'd if rather... there's a 200 mil seed, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather a compromise, right? Where they make, like, a different version of the gauntlet, right? With things. Because I'm yeah, sure they can whip that cool. up, right? That would they be could, amazing. They could definitely do that. That would be so with hard great. mode TV, it, it only took them, like, a few weeks for hard mode TOB. Or, no, it took, like, a month. It took, like, a month. It took them, like, a month to, to come up with hard mode TOB. And and uh, a different gauntlet, gauntlet like, Fahrenheit's gauntlet, probably wouldn't take as long. It'd probably take, like, three three or two weeks, honestly. Dude, yeah, yeah. I can, oh. I, like, even a month would be all right, you know? They could make Whatever. it so cool because, like... The corrupted gauntlets effectively like isn't it like a mixture between like a wolf and a stag? I believe. I think that's what they. Yeah, built it looks for. like it. Like, it's like a deer. And so a, imagine and a change. Ch imagine changing the boss with different mechanics this time. Same yeah. gauntlet, but different mechanics. The boss itself with different mechanics. Fair I mean, times, I'm I'm just thinking what they could yeah. turn it into. Huh. Like, what's a what what's an animal that elves typically have, which is like a really prestigious sort of animal. Yeah, I know stag rabbit, comes to mind. You know? <laughs> a, ra a rabbit, a rabbit bear. <laughs> a rabbit bear. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they could make it into a, they, mm, they could make it into a bear or something like that, or maybe like a bear slash stag. I don't know. Like they yeah. could do something. I don't like know that. what a stag is, to be honest. It's like yeah. it's like a male deer, right? It's a male deer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the okay. horny boys. Okay. Yeah, yeah, dude. I yeah, think just, that like, would be rip good. off something from Pokemon, dude. You know, easy. You know. <laughs> what Stantler or whatever it is, whatever hey, yeah. it's dude, uh, we, it's fun, dude, dude. We got Suicune in the <laughs> just, Corrupted Gauntlet. We could have like yeah, one of the other ones. Exactly. Just introduce guess, Entei. Just bro, introduce Entei. Entei. Where's Raikou, dude? <laughs> True. I, I'd, I'd love it yeah, if they you know, would, course. but I think realistically, like that's probably not gonna happen. Which is a shame. Like, how would you guys feel if they were to like introduce that down the line? If this was just a temporary measure until they actually managed to get that content together? Introduce what exactly? So. Obviously, right now, they're going ahead with their plans. So they're going to be adding uh, the bow to the blade, so you just get it from the Corrupted Gauntlet. But how about if down the line, like, that was a temporary measure, and it was until they actually figured out, like, a new gauntlet for people to actually get the seed from that one? I don't like that idea, because then people feel forced to go and get it before the update hits. So all yeah, I'm yeah, would literally no, just rush it, Corrupted Gauntlet. It can't be, it can't be seasonal. Mm -hmm. It'd be weird, you know? Yeah, people will immediately rush Gauntlet and get it before the uh, update hits. And and, and of completely avoid doing new content, which defeats the purpose of the new content. So yeah, yeah. no, it I, just wouldn't yeah. work. I just don't it want them to work. rush it, man. I'd rather they just waited and actually got some cool content for it to drop. 
be yeah. so I mean, good. Yo, how many, okay, let's see, right? Like The idea is probably to release it before the year's over, so you have half a year. So, I mean, they could kind of like try to make something completely new, but but I don't know, man. I feel like they're they're already backlogged on things to do, as it is. Like, uh, you know, in terms of like design, stuff that they have to already work on. Yeah. I mean, we we should be mm. having Iron Man. Uh, what's it? Group Iron Man anytime soon? Like as of it a should year have been ago, last so. year or something. <laughs> yeah, but but we've just had the clan mm. system, so hopefully they're probably working yeah. on that. Stand there. That, that's yeah. a yeah, huge group, thing they're working on. They needed the clan system in order to work on Group Iron Man, is what they said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it should be this year. Mm -hmm. And leaks too. There, there's going to be another leaks this year, I believe. Of course. Oh yeah, they do it year. like every December or something, right? Yeah, every November, year. December. So, so yeah, I think they're gonna be pretty backlogged for for a while. So I think the best they can do is just remodel the uh, the gauntlet a bit. Yeah, yeah. Right. I'm. Sh they can do a lot though. You can do a lot because, like, I feel like the most the most amount of dev time spent is probably developing the the concept and then like creating the infrastructure. But they already have that. All they gotta do is maybe create some new models. You know, some new yeah. mechanics, right? And that's kind of it. Right? They would only really Saves need a lot to. Of time. They need to create a new boss. I, I think that's the big thing. And like everything yeah. else could ta like it could stay the same and just change the color scheme or whatever. But like they could totally do that. Um, yeah, they can. I I don't know. I I do definitely have reservations regarding them just putting it to the blade of Saldor. Now you've said it like that because it's right. It's like yeah. You know, like here's another thing. Like the blade. It like the prices of the blade. If you guys, if you guys are smart and you have some GP in your bank, go and buy yourself some blades because when this update hits, like I'm guaranteed, like that's gonna go up. Like people no, are gonna want to try it out. You're not a financial advisor, though. I know I'm not, but come on, dude. Like why wouldn't it go up? You know? And it's just we're I don't not know. There's financial something about advisor. That. <laughs> yeah, if you lose all your GP, it's not on us, boys. I'm not an expert, but it's true. It will go up. I think at the moment it's like a hundred mil. I imagine it, it at bare minimum goes to like 120 and then it'll probably come back down after a while but you know yeah I, I think they need to add something a little new to it it's like we've had so much copy pasta content and just like recycled content now for a long time it would be so yeah. nice and refreshing just to get something completely new yeah yep pretty much so we've kind of reached like what around an hour now and yeah. yeah, I guess we can uh, leave it at that, you know, one of our shorter podcasts, but we did pack it in with like a lot, a lot of RuneScape, you know, current yeah. trending things. So, so yeah, I think this is probably a good wrap up for today. Would you guys, yeah, uh, if, you, if you got time, do you want to take a couple questions from the chat real quick? Because we are live. You sure, don't I, don't mind. I don't mind that. That's cool. If there's uh, right. some questions people are at, want to ask. Yo, chat, do any of you guys have some hard-hitting questions we can look at right now? I'm going to have a look up through the chat. Name, name of your dog. Of your dog. <laughs> I can't do that. I tell, like, nobody name of the dog. Not that it's hey. part of a security answer, it could, but, but, like, it could be. Like, I, I don't tell people my favorite ice cream, my favorite pizza, my favorite sub, sub sandwich. You know what I mean? I literally don't tell anyone things like that. I, I'm you just should. paranoid. Yeah. I'm paranoid. Wait, wait, you're telling me that you haven't <laughs> named your dog, or you're just not telling us? I have a name, but I'm not telling anyone. <laughs> what the fuck? What's paranoid. wrong? What's wrong yeah. with you, man? What do you mean? Uh, what? You scared someone's gonna come and steal it? It doesn't even have a collar, bro. Get a collar for no, that thing first. Account security. Account security. Yeah. Oh. Things like security questions and stuff. Wait. So are you confirming <laughs> that your like backup password is no, your fucking dog's I'm just name, saying, bro? I'm just saying I don't answer questions like that. My favorite ice cream, uh, my generic, favorite pizza. What about Jared? You know, generic, things like that. Generic risky questions, guys. Y'all got any? Do I sleep with socks on? No. How good Yo, that omelet feel? Try a few. The omelet was pretty uh, unreal. Like, my reaction was yeah. more shock than excitement. Like, could not believe it actually happened. Really. Yeah. Yo, somebody asked, Just... should we be content with, what, with the way Jagex have been operating? What do you guys think? Um, not sure, to be honest. I mean, I, I don't know how Jagex operates myself because I don't work there. I, I can only see what they put out for us, and I'm not really happy with it this year, but I'm more content, I guess. Yeah, I could say. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I personally think that um, they've they've definitely made some mistakes over the years, but it hasn't been as bad as, like, obviously... 
you know, ELC, like, rushing, stuff like that, right? They've, they've like, made some mistakes, but they also reflected on it. You know, a good example is, like, when they decided to buff every single Slayer drop table to, like, Oblivion. And then, like, obviously, a few years down the line, they, they noticed that, like, oh, shit, some of these resources, like, they just don't have value anymore like that. And then they, 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 they like, patched it, right? And blowpipe stuff, right? We could have just never, ever fixed it forever. Yeah. But they're trying to fix it. That's and, good. and and now they have some pr really good J mods like that that like have played the game a lot, still plays the game a lot, have done a lot of the content, and and knows from like a player's perspective what it means to kind of like keep this game running too, right? And in the actual, uh, you know, company. Whereas before it was like, uh, it, you know, it's veteran uh mods, but they just didn't really play the game. So like, you know, they they're like it, it's so simple, right? Like imagine if somebody like Husky. Uh, was working back then right and they were looking at the blowpipe and then he's like you know and then he sees the numbers like wait this doesn't make sense why, why would this why should this be this strong right but like mm -hmm. back then right they probably they never played the game so they didn't care about dps or like that so they're just like oh yeah you know two take blowpipe looks cool done you know <laughs> yeah right back then it's probably just like that right yeah, it was way too powerful yeah, yeah. yeah so I, I think we're we're definitely in a more balanced state yeah. I think I or think as well them. it's been it's been a very yeah. tough year right because of everything that's going on and it's like you can say what you like it's a gaming company at the end of the day but here's the thing right it's like pretty much every employee at Jagex went and worked at home and I don't care what you say it's like if you can't just have a conversation with a guy that's like a meter away from you on the other side of the desk regarding something and then you have to go through like an email chain back and forth like things get slowed down and delayed and I'm not a big right. fan of recycled content and content that's just been sort of like added to, if that makes sense, like the Soul Wars update, the copy pasta, hard TOB and stuff like that. I prefer new stuff, but at the end of the day, I feel like they've done relatively well considering. And uh, we had Husky on and he said to yeah. us, I, I think, what, what did he say about the fishing boss? He said it wasn't the update people a, wanted, but it was a good update. It was a good update, but yeah, yeah it just wasn't it was what people wanted. It was a good update for skillers, you know? For skillers and stuff, it's a good update. Yeah, def definitely. I, like it. I thought it was cool. But it's not really what people wanted. I, I think that's fair to say, right? You know, it's like, imagine that yeah. was raids free. People would have been so hyped. Uh, I think we'll take one last question. And uh, it's been asked to me, but we can all answer it. And he's asking, thoughts on removing or changing the polling system? Oh <laughs> this is a meme at this point, bro. <laughs> Get it out of here. No, I think, um, oh, dude, it's difficult. I don't think they should remove it. But I definitely feel like it shouldn't just be a case of like if something gets a 74 percent pass rate that it should just be totally scrapped and disregarded i i think that it should more or less be looked at as like you know the majority of people want this content so we have like that leeway i would i'd like it if they had that sort of leeway and power to be able to be like you know what we're still gonna go through with this that's my opinion on it what do you think or Sam? like what can we do it what can we do to change it to get it over that 75 percent? you know what i mean yeah that, that that could also also be done. Um, I don't think it should be removed, but at most maybe make it so that other people's like votes count more. Like, why should my vote, like a max player that has literally done ev pretty much everything, count as the same vote as someone that has played for a week? I I, yeah, you know, I wouldn't mind rank choice voting. Uh, it, it'll give better insight, to be honest. You know, you know what I mean by rank choice voting. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. I yeah, know. Uh, what's that rank? Really? It's like so so you get to vote on all options technically like but but you get to prioritize which one is more important. Ah okay. That's interesting. Because some some of these like you know suggestions they're not just simple things. They're like often very complicated and it's like if you just choose one it doesn't always reflect truly what you want. So, you know, being able to <clears throat> on a really tough one being able to rank your shit would be really yeah, I did it's, it's like, hard. What happens if you end up getting two options that are really close to each other and it's yeah. by the same people, right? It, it's so. hard, man, because I would have to say, like, I disagree with Sync on his vote should count for more than somebody else because he's a max experience player. But it's like, I can see where he's it's... coming from with that. I get that. I totally understand. It's like, if there's a brand new player that's played the game for a week and he's getting a vote on the same thing and his, his word means as much as yours, it's kind of a little bit unbalanced, right? But like that's just the polling system. Like that that is what it is, you know? And it's mm -hmm. like until they actually address that, nothing's really gonna change, you know? And I, I think there could be a different way of doing this. 
it, it's a hard thing. I don't know. I don't think it should strictly be like 75% or it's not passing. It shouldn't be like that. I, I feel okay. like what Ree said before was like, it should be looked at as like 74% of people really like this. And it's like, that's a, a majority. Suggestion. That's a good suggestion. Yeah. yeah. And maybe played yeah. around with like that. Like having a little bit of leeway either way. So yeah. Anyways, uh, we'll wrap it up on that sync. It's been a pleasure, bro. Thank you very much for coming yeah. on, mate. Uh, what are yeah, your social medias, well man? Fun. Where can the people find you? Uh, Twitch.tv slash S-Y-N-Q right there somewhere. Right there. Yep, yep, there yep, he yep. is. And then sync shot on Twitter. So sync and then S-H-O-T at the end of that. And it's had a problem finding that. I hope I've thrown in the right area. Mm -hmm. um, yep, in the description. Yeah. In the description right Beautiful. there, down below, right there. Somewhere <laughs> down there. Yep, yep, yep. Yo, thank you very much, man. We appreciate it.